What's up guys, CP Mod here back with another video. And today we're here with something that I've always wanted to do but never really had the time due to, well, productivity issues when it comes to my internet browsers and that is switching things up. And today we're trying out Firefox Quantum. So I've been a Chrome user for basically since day one of my computing. The first computer I had came with Chrome with it because someone set up the computer and just installed Chrome. So I'm like, okay, I'll use that then. And I never really switched from it, mainly because everything was set up in Chrome. I knew how to work it and I just sort of never really tried anything else. Though I always had Firefox installed as a backup, the only time I really ever used it was if like a site was spazzing out and I needed to quickly jump on the website and kind of troubleshoot and get it going. Really, I've never exactly used Firefox for really long in-depth use cases, but uh, yeah, I guess today that goes ahead and changes. As I'm leaving behind my beloved Chrome experience for something new known as Firefox Quantum. So for those of you who have missed it, Firefox Quantum Quantum is a recent release out of Firefox guys who have gone ahead and released a really brilliant new version known as again, well, Quantum. And whilst it doesn't do any quantum processing, there's still some definitely very fast features for this guy, or well, so they claim. Now, if we take a look at their website, it looks like Firefox has really put a lot of effort into their new browser release, claiming up to 30% lighter than Chrome. And let's face it, when it comes to RAM, an elephant is lighter on RAM than actual Chrome is. So at this point, 30% lighter isn't too bad. They're also too claiming two times faster than previous releases and also to a super easy moving experience with bookmarks and also to autofill, history and more being able to be easily ported over to this guy so you can basically pick up Firefox and basically pick up from where you left off with your Google Chrome or other browsing experience. And the list does go on and on. So if you want to find out more, uh, check that link down in the description box or just search up Firefox Quantum because it's pretty easy to there. So with that being said, I jumped on all my computers and down downloaded on my desktop PCs, laptops, my server even, and of course this guy, the mighty MacBook, and even my mobile phones to give the experience a go on all the different platforms. I created a Firefox account in the first time in like ever, and I went ahead and actually started syncing all across the devices, and that was one thing which we'll touch on in a moment. I really did like about Firefox is it just started syncing really reasonably easily. Now yes, Chrome does have a sync feature and I definitely use that every single day, but it's nice to see Firefox also too got one as well. Overall, after installing it, my first experience actually were pretty positive. The UI is pretty well polished and is quite a long way from the last time I actually used uh, Firefox at all, so it's nice to see the nice UI update. Also too much like Chrome, as I did mention, I love the fact that you can sync between the devices, so all the plugins I'd spent installing on my desktop just sunk over to my laptop and that was so easy to do. I was actually worried I was going to have to like reset up all the plugins. Nope, they just sunk across. It was super easy right there. And whilst I haven't exactly found every single plugin I use on Chrome, it is really good there. The overall UI going through the menus was simple, clean and easy to understand and much like Chrome I could easily find my way around and I did have to do a few tweaking but overall it was a really good setup experience. Again most of my uh, extensions that I do use on Chrome were definitely available over on Firefox however if I didn't exactly find the one that I was looking for I did definitely find a number of replacements for it though with that being said I'm sure they'll move their way over to Firefox pretty soon so I'm not too uh, upset about that however I really do miss Session Buddy. If you use Chrome and you don't have Sessions Buddy installed, I have no idea what you're doing with your life because that thing is an absolute epic little plugin. So again, if you are using Chrome, get yourself Session Buddies because that thing is absolutely awesome. But overall, Firefox is really not doing bad. Now, once I loaded up all my 110 plus tabs that I have over on my desktop right there, I did notice one thing a little bit weird. Where in Chrome, you get nice little slight thumbnails, on actual Firefox, it doesn't exactly compress the same way and sort of just stays there, which is something I really don't like. For me, I like the idea just to have a whole bunch of little icons across the top so I know what websites they are, and for me, I understand where all my tabs are. I'm not the biggest fan of having these big, long, compressed things and I have to click on a menu to find where things are. It really just didn't actually, well, go with me very well. So if someone out there knows how to just compress all your Firefox tabs into easy little clickable menus, please let me know because uh, yeah, I'm not really digging the experience of having all my 100 plus tabs just sort of sprawled out in a massive scrolling list. 
Another thing that I found interesting was also to speed. Now they claim it is up to two times faster than their previous release and damn it actually is very very fast, but not exactly in the way that I was expecting. Now when I use Google Chrome usually it loads up the page to about 90% before it starts displaying it on the page. Large images and stuff like that do take longer to load, but usually what it'll do is load up the page and then display it on the screen. Whereas Firefox is getting its speed by just smashing everything on the screen as soon as it is downloaded. As soon as any text is loaded up, boom, it is there on your screen, which is good and also too pretty bad. Whether the CSS is ready or the JavaScript is ready to go, it doesn't matter. Basically everything gets smashed onto the page when it is downloaded from the system. Now again, that can be good for some people as if you are just browsing text-based websites, things are gonna load so fast and it's gonna feel so snappy. However, if you're like me and more into UI, clean designs, and just having a user interface that's polished and not feeling like it's just being smashed at you super fast, it is a real big letdown. But I guess for text-based websites and stuff like that, it is super fast and super snappy and I really do enjoy the experience. But again, it's fast in the way that I wasn't exactly expecting it, where again, it's just sort of smashing everything on the screen as fast as possible. Again, personally, I do like the Chrome approach where it loads up most of it in the background, then displays it on the screen in a nice page load, but I guess everyone has their own opinion. But overall, my first impressions are actually pretty positive. It's going to get the job done for me on my Mac, my desktop and all that kind of stuff, so I'm pretty happy there. And I guess it's the first time in about seven years since I'm really using anything else other than Chrome for a long extended period of time. And so far, I'm really impressed and it's not been half that bad. But with that being said, I'll be back in a few weeks and then back in a month or two to let you guys know what my final experience is and whether I'm going to be sort of switching out of my Chrome ecosystem to Firefox right here. So I'll let you guys know how it goes, but uh, if you guys want to join me, check that link down in the description box and let me know down in that comment sections. Otherwise, I guess whilst you're down there letting me know stuff, also do let me know what browser you use down in that comment sections. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.